is going to straddle the pole. I love Snoopy. This feels more, this is more familiar. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to Among the Lilies. <laughs> so dangerous. We are live. We're going too far with the horns and the frads. Welcome. Thank you for having us, Cameron. Yes, thank you on your channel. I will accept a quarter of the YouTube monetization. Sure, yes. <laughs> It'll pay for that bottle of whiskey. <laughs> I will double check that it's actually good. There are zero people watching right now. Oh, I feel so <laughs> shitty about my life right now. You're an awesome person. I don't even know if we know that it actually is up, do we? Well, well there's usually a little bit of a delay. So oh, we'll have to... Oh, a bit of a delay? Okay. Are you sure it's true? Here, I'll just think I'm a loser, baby. It does say until live. people join. I'm a loser. There's one person watching that might be you. <laughs> oh, am I the one person? Yay! I'm just a teenage <laughs> dirtbag, baby. Would it be under live or under the normal? It would be under live. Come okay. with me, Fry. Okay, someone gave us a thumbs up. That means there is someone here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll put, put the comments. Oh, yeah, put the comments up. Come if you can see us and hear us, please write oh, in the yeah. comments. Don't say okay, good. Baby. Oh, yay, someone's here. Oh, see, there's dirtbag. That's at least baby. three people. So we got some people. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hi. I'll be cr I'll get crazy when it at the end. It's all Trick is so crazy, and then he's so reserved on camera, like sophisticated. Oh, all right, there's there's all party in the back. I know he was singing. For the TV, was giving us a show. Bend it over. All right, Cameron, you should probably take uh, control of this. I gave okay. my heart. So we're the here next in day, Texas. Hence gave my it away. God bless Texas mug with the horns. It's so good. To be with y'all. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Matt said we couldn't all talk at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, ah! I feel like we're all more nervous because you told us that. Well, or it's funny we because everyone should share this right now if you don't mind, if you think people want to see this because um, we are on a My little channel. baby It's really what channel. I was trying to say. Yeah, no, no, no. That's fair. I am a much smaller person. And um, platform than you big giants. I'm among the big giants. Not brag, but uh, <laughs> I got like a, maybe like 60,000 views last month. <laughs> You're amazing. You are <laughs> so, so good. Lame. We wanted to go live. I wanted to go live on that show, but he said no. Well, it was actually the people that worked for him that it's advised to get to the entire me. board. That they didn't want to go live. You guys go on that show all the time. <laughs> They don't actually let me go live on it anymore. Mine has to be recorded oh, so Thursday could cut things out, I think. Why? No. You said um? That's or? not true. I do say um a lot. That's fair. I, yeah. Is that why? No, I think it's because I say that things that aren't appropriate. I have an idea. What far. if Trent led the podcast? All right, Trent. No, no, I'm not good at this. I'm not funny. I married someone who is funny. We don't need so you to be funny. funny. We need I, someone to give I'm, I'm wit to impose I, order. I think I'm witty. I have repartee with people. Okay, let me start with my phases of drinking. So I have phases of drinking, okay? <laughs> my first phase is really happy. Can I get you a pillow so we can see your face? Is my face not showing? That's my best quality. Besides, you know, two other qualities. <laughs> Here, I'll just <laughs> my, I'll just switch this. <laughs> oh yeah, you're okay. short. Oh, thank That's, you. That was very thoughtful. Because you're so cute and petite. There you go. Okay, so let me get my phase of drinking. That's why we're not on your show. Okay, so first phase of drinking is happy. And, and then it's frisky, <laughs> and then it's tired, and then, and then it's angry. It's so it's depression. like a really short window, though, and Trent has to catch me. Or, like, on the ride home, I'm like, hey, baby, hey, baby, hey. And then I fall asleep, and then I wake up, and it's, like, rageful. I'm like, let's talk about how much I freaking hate your mom. Why is mom? He's like, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> I missed the window, the beautiful window. It was Dallas a traffic. Short window. <laughs> so he's got me three times in that window, and we have three children. Okay. One, of, <laughs> one of my favorite memories of you, okay? We were at friend's house in San Diego many years ago, and this woman, friend of ours, was oh, kind of jo jokingly said of her husband, oh, he's had too many beers, he's, and he, she gave the... Intimation okay. that he's right, going to come on to me tonight, <laughs> and you're like, and I was like, that's unfortunate that she said that. And then you're like, shut up, take advantage. Am I right? <laughs> right I'm fine. It's still did. true. I wish Trent drank. I'm like, never, never catch him off guard. And now he does jujitsu, 
can I tell this story or is this embarrassing for you? You were on bench pro. You're very professional now. Can I tell this story? I, I guess you can tell the story. I don't I know what it is. Like, Laura, do you want to? And I'm like, oh, okay, finally. And then he'll be like, <laughs> open his leg. He'll be like, practice jujitsu. Oh, it's and fun. Like, no. We, we, <laughs> We, we, no, we can, we, we can, we can <laughs> start <laughs> there. It doesn't, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to end there. <laughs> he just wants jujitsu is his floor play with you. He wanted to try that first, and then it's good to have a hobby to bond couples together. Before it can't just be passionate lovemaking. Though we have enough of that to spare, I would think. You don't want to, we don't, I don't want to shallow relationship. We should be able to share hobbies and, and passions and interests and the intellect. Gosh, I hope my dad does, does not, not watch this. Don't watch it, Harold. Your Turn off now. I don't think your dad's my main audience. I it's true. Your mom's not even my main audience. You're it's good. It's very true. Uh, what is your main audience? Like millennials? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mine is too. Millennial? Yeah, and young moms, new moms. Yeah. New mine moms. is split. Half, half and half. Half men, half women. Oh and yeah, I'm, I'm like ninety percent women. Yeah, and oh, then the ten percent guys, I kind of ignore, and I feel bad for gay. that. Gay. They're not actually. They're very manly. Oh, I'm just kidding. Not gay. You're awesome. <laughs> Why is it playing live? Are you gonna watch a debate right now? That'd be so lame. <laughs> no. He's oh, watching okay. Jamaican I'm right what? Now. We have to speak into the mics. I've noticed. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm and, sorry. You know, He's telling us how to get better. Joy, but we should probably speak one at a time. Okay, you okay. can go first. Sorry. Go. Look, guys. I contact. just one at a time. <laughs> it's fine. I just want to say this is a joy to be with you in your house. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Except for that you didn't say that until we went live. So I think it's Ooh, maybe you were lying to me. <laughs> just this kidding. has been awful. I'm just kidding. It's really been nice to have the frads, and it makes me almost want to move to Steubenville. Almost. Trent? No, I, I like that the water here is like clear. It's not brown. I know, but we have a whole house filter. We could just set that up in Steubenville. I don't even. I don't think it would only make it maybe like three months. Yeah. Un- until either the water clear. burns it down or like somebody comes in and steals it and sells it for crack. Yeah, they're like, how much can I get for a carbon filter? Or they'll can just turn turn it into, or they'll filter. turn it into a crack pipe, or <laughs> who knows? I liked that Matt tried to entice him to Steubenville. He said. Here's a picture of a house we renovated. There was a dead, compressed dog inside. <laughs> yeah, you remember that? What? Was he was terrifying. mummified. Yeah, Where? I was, so we bought a, when I say we, a friend of mine, Bob Lesnevsky, bought a house in Steubenville for a homeless guy who was oh, living right. at his property. <laughs> and winter was coming, and this beautiful guy, he's had a really hard life. He had to have all of his teeth extracted. His sister committed suicide. It's awful, awful story. You hear a lot of that. And he said, that's all right, I can just live in your garage. And I was like, you know what, you, you really need somewhere better. So they bought a house for $8,000 in Steubenville. And it's like a double story big house, but you've never seen a worse house. So Bob Lesnevsky. Amazing. I would imagine that for a house that you can buy that's less than most cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. So Bob got the rugby team at Franciscan and myself and a few others to come and clean it out. And it was an absolute pigsty. And we, and we found a flattened mummified dog. Oh, I've seen the pictures. So I think I maybe boxes had fallen on it, killed it, and it died, but it was mummified. I brought it home. Thinking, you brought it home? Yeah, to yeah, show you. And Jackie Francois was at the house too. And I think I said, get it out of the house. And I Have you never right seen away. anyone mount like an elk head over a fireplace? Like, what's <laughs> the difference? A dog over my bed. It's like a bear skin. And it, <laughs> it looks scared. Like its mouth was it like, did. It looked, like it was attacking. It was I'm like, going to die. <laughs> Yeah. It probably wasn't killed instantly. I forgot Jackie was there. It did have a desperate look on its face. <laughs> like hit the stop. There was like a mouse. Like most by people in Steubenville. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ohio. But really, I'm sorry that I said that. I really love having you guys. And thank you. you he, he has thanked me. He's mm. been wonderful guests. And it's been a really fun time. What if we did this? What if we went around and each one said a kind of a funny story about the, like someone at this table. Ooh. Oh. Okay, Trent. No, you first. Well, I don't. I hadn't. I thought of the question. That's what I do. That's my job. <laughs> no. I don't have to have the answers usually. <laughs> um. Well. I'll, I'll, okay. Here, here's a funny story. Um. I got to meet Trent well before I got to meet Laura. I think while you were engaged when you started working at Catholic Answers. Yeah. And you and I kind of bonded over geeky things. We would watch 
what were they? What do you call them? Animated superhero cartoons? They are anim- They are animated films of the really superhero hard not genre. To say that I <laughs> and so Trent, Trent came over, and we would eat wings and sit on the carpet. And I remember you walked past me and Trent watching animated films. <laughs> And she said, do you boys want a glass of milk? Which was very patronizing. Oh, or goldfish. But, but fair. <laughs> and then a trad wife no, no, rolled no. over in her grave. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, no, part of, part no, of the, the beauty of it. The trad wife would have been <laughs> grateful. Look at her serving her husband. Yeah. I offered them Just goldfish a glass of milk. or a glass of milk or a little but, juice box. But I think at the time, Cameron did not understand Trent at all. She wanted to, she couldn't. It was only after she met Laura that she would then breastfeed in front of Trent. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I right. never requested that. Yeah, that at all. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I can, did never... Can we also just ask like women to just show a little, tiny bit of discretion? I'm not asking you to put on like a burlap sack or anything you like that. You just didn't think it was appropriate that I no. came out in the nude breastfeeding? No, I, the issue? I, have, I have seen probably like seven breasts in my life and four of them <laughs> have been in a liturgical context with someone like a kid is hungry. I'm all about it. I want women to breastfeed beautifully, publicly, big and proud. Black nipples, brown nipples, all of it. All the I, think it's, I really think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I really do. And I the think Italians. that's and it's a beautiful kind of rebuke to those who would say that the trads are prudish. You know, it's like no, this is what breasts are for. So if you have a problem, you go away. I like it. Yeah, there's my thing. All right, I'm so, saying okay. just just the, the the hood, not not the whole burlap sack. Doesn't have to be not. I wasn't going to say that. Like, I let <laughs> Laura say the things I'm not allowed to say. So you want more of like the splitting of the shirt? Can, can, can we just can we just go like the, the sorry, from so, the? Someone's saying Trent is way louder than everyone else. Oh, I might have to do. Where one. am I? Oh, sorry. Over no, he's just way louder than everybody else. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks, seven. Thursday. See, Thursday's doing time. work Good for job, us, Thursday. even Thursday. from a distance, even while we're in salt. And Matt's voice is really low. Okay, so in fairness to you guys, part of why you were sitting on the ground close to the TV, it's because we had babies and they were sleeping. So you were being a good dad sitting close one to the two, TV. Two. But it made it that much funnier because they were they were like chick Indian one, style. Two, chick, one, two, chick, chick. I think I'm, I think I'm fixed. The cartoons. All, well, all of these are all <laughs> mixed up. Yes, back to that though. Uh, I would prefer just the the 10% from bottom to top, not the 90% from top to bottom That's to get the fair. job when done. People just can, like we, can we just do that? Out? Can we just I, do that? It is but pretty distracting. It, yeah, I feel like if you pull the whole thing out, I feel like if you try, so like in Ireland, they're really big on like undershirts, and so you pull up one shirt, pull down the other, and the yeah. baby's head's there. And if a little bit shows, it's not a big deal, but it covers the main thing. But when people, you know, just pull plop one out, yeah, there is more breasts showing. But I don't know. I'm still okay with it. Yeah, I'm also not a guy, and I've never been turned on or aroused by a woman's breasts, so that's a thing. Well. Speak for yourself, my lady. Okay. All right. Whatever. So. Women are pretty. Okay. All right. Who else has a story? <laughs> I was kidding. That was okay. that was my story. It somehow <laughs> ended with breasts because apparently we, whenever you and I talk together, we have to talk about. Are we talking about nice stories or funny stories? Oh, either. Either. Oh, either one. Mm. Okay, you go. Okay. The very first time I met you, you showed up at our door. We were in San Diego, and you knocked on the door, and Matt opened the door, and you yelled. Oh, girl she's adorable and i was like trent really that's your fiance or wife no were you fiance that your act, you were, we were engaged i think no we, you we were engaged yeah. yeah yeah you were engaged and i was like wow why is everyone why, really why, why is everyone so surprised by this she's gorgeous i'm not I'm, and hilarious. I'm not a yeti <laughs> to quote jim gaffigan <laughs> i also okay in fairness to trent, <laughs> i love that bit he does trent we found out your wife has no visual perception <laughs> uh, don't fix that <laughs> no in fairness to you you were very very smart and talked about things and i was breastfeeding and my brain didn't work so i remember one time we were back in the backyard. <laughs> back to my breast. Okay. They're, they're always coming. I'm so <laughs> glad we did not do this on Pints of the Glass. Right? So I want everyone to. <laughs> Among the ladies, ladies can handle breasts because most of them have them. Um, but we're in the backyard and you were talking about something. And Matt like left for a minute. And I remember being there and I'm like, my brain hurts trying to think. I'm like recovering from a C-section. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't think I'm normally smart enough for this conversation. But as I'm breastfeeding, all my brain cells are gone. And I just need to go inside. And I like walked inside. Do you remember that? Mm. Nope, not at all. But I, I have a terrible short term and social memory. He really does. We got in a huge fight because he. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Remember that time. Don't be careful. So we, were, we were 
at this uh, like library in Scottsdale, and it was like one of those rocky years of our marriage, right? I was working, and it wasn't going great. And this lady came up to us, and she's like, oh, hey, Trent. And he's like, oh, hey, Courtney. What was her name? You'll remember. What was her name? I don't what know. Was her name? You uh, know her name. You probably know her number. Uh, 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 name. Ugzilla. Uglyzilla, yeah. I think. Hey, Courtney. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, but all right. So I've then Trent move his shoulders like that. I was like, who was that? And he's like, oh, a nanny. I run into him at the library. Fast forward like a month <laughs> later. And he's like, are we going to see your grandma? And I was like, what's my grandma's name, Trent? And he's like, Birdie. <laughs> Her name's not Birdie. Was it Axilla? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jeannie. <laughs> no, that's my mom's name. That's a trick. Hold on. What? That is even worse. I don't Your remember mom's now. name is my grandma's name, and he couldn't remember. No, that's because I, I couldn't think it couldn't be that one because that's a trick <laughs> it question. Makes me more that's mad, a trick question not on the exam. Less mad. <laughs> You're mad that I remembered the name of some woman. I that was back when we used to we used to switch off. No, our good friends, you will still not remember their names. Like, I'm like, oh, I would love for you to get to know Mark better. Who? And he's like, never met the guy. Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's been over here like 12 times. <laughs> I think you're just mad that like someone, when I would bring Matthew to the library to play, someone else had a kid there and I made small talk. If it's anyone, a female, she sees me talking to Siri and she's like, what's that about? Yeah. Any woman who does exactly what you want. Don't trust her. Don't trust her. <laughs> We've had we had some great fights back in the day. I know. Yeah. We All don't right. Fight, no, let's really. do this. We don't fight <laughs> a lot. Fun. No. Okay. This is memories. nice for us to feel I like the normal ones. Good memories. You no, guys tell are us really about the fights. No, don't do that. The funnier you ones are, are better. Really wonderful friends. Okay. So first time I stayed with you, you're like, can I? No, this isn't a good story. Do it. I don't even know what it is. But no, it. this is something. You guys don't know, Give but us, it's oh, lame. Really? Oh, tell us. But it's lame. It's oh, not a good story. No, you guys have to have low standards. It's not that good of a story. Okay, Can I tell them about staying with them or no? Yeah, well, it's too late yeah, now. Yeah, do it. Okay. Do it. So I used to stay with you guys before Trent and I yeah. were married mm -hmm. because, no, I won't tell that story. Can you whisper right? to him or something? I don't know. No, I won't tell that story. I'll tell you guys later. Okay. <laughs> Is it embarrassing to Trent or us? No, it could be taken scandalously, but oh. it's not scandal. It's well, not but scandalous. now you've said you used to stay with us before you were married, and now you're saying it's scandalous. Oh, you but know what I mean? yeah, that's fair. I still got to follow through. Yeah, maybe. I'm just kidding. But no, I didn't. Yeah, no, Trent, don't worry. We're on the... <laughs> that was a great story, Laura. Thanks so much. Wow, that was really funny about when I met you guys, when okay, I used to I stay a, with you guys. I have guys. a question that could, <laughs> that could start a nice story. All right. Would one of you mind telling us the story about the time my wife and I invited that particular woman to come and stay with us for a week, or is that too much? No, I, no I'm, I'm okay. still traumatic about that. Could, could you... Because no one knows this story at we all. And make up a fake name. Yeah, definitely a fake name. Let's call her Sarah. Fake name. Um, I'm absolutely going to forget name. about this, and this fake name. Boobs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies, please. It's an adult show. Actually, it's your show, so you can take it however you like. Um, so, okay, this, this happened many years ago. So I feel like it's fair game to maybe talk about it. So you set it up, explain to them, and ask what happened and how you got involved. And we'll call her Sarah. No, I remember. Well, you know the background a little bit more. You had you had someone. Of course, I do. They don't. That's why I need you to say it. Now I'm trying. I, I see. I can barely remember. Oh, anybody. you want me to? Okay, yeah, so the background. She stayed. With she us. was. This is a female friend you met in a the Catholic world, and she stayed with you guys. I'll I'll do it. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. yeah. Female speaker, Protestant world. Protestant world spoke yeah. about similar things to me. I think said she was visiting San Diego. Mm -hmm. And I, I shouldn't have done this, but she seemed very normal. And so I said, you're welcome to come stay at our house if you want. Yeah, you guys are very hospitable. And then... Strike one. And yes, and we had lots of people stay with us in our tiny San Diego home. We had married couples that would sleep on our couch and it wasn't a big deal. They went and did their own thing. This was very different. Right, because then I remember it's sort of, what is it? It's like fatal attraction or it's... Like one of those uh, uh, movies where the new woman shows up and basically wants to kill you to get to Matt. Yeah. I think she had she had an unhealthy fixation on you. Okay, yeah, I remember her. Yes, and then she. Oh, I remember she said that that you. She said she. <coughs> they were, were fighting and it was weird. And she said of Cameron, she's getting between us. Do you want to say what happened? Yes. There? Well, no. Well, I think we should even. So it got to the point where it's like. 
I, I try to like bend over backwards to like make her comfortable. I'm like, oh, what are your plans for tomorrow? Just hanging out with but you and the kids. But it was clear Whatever she you're doing. wanted to spend time with Matt. But Matt's at work all day, every day. So she's kind of stuck with me and the kids. And yeah, she's like, Sarah. oh, I'll go to, uh, yeah, Sarah. we go to Catholic <laughs> Answers. She saw the building, whatever. She was over it. And then it was like, oh, whatever you want. We could go to Balboa Park. We can go to the zoo. We can go to SeaWorld. Like, I gave her all these options. Like, whatever you're going to do. And I'm like, okay, I have two little kids. Or maybe three at that time. I oh, forget. Yeah, three. But it got to the point where I was like, this is just weird and awkward. And you're like, just invite other friends. So I pulled you and Elizabeth Evans into it. And then you can tell them about the walk at Mission Gorge Trail. We went on a walk and she just got like very exasperated and started running off saying that she needed to go to the bathroom and how uncomfortable she was with this day and then just wouldn't walk with any of us and it was very weird and then she claimed that all her your food was making her sick like I'm just so sick from all the food that you cooked the night before yeah. and then she uh, accused oh, you no. of doing I don't know how long we want to drag this story out it, now it well the like Mission Gorge s- trails because I remember yeah, yeah, like shit on Sarah <laughs> Just I remember your face when we were at we're at a trail. I have two or three little kids. I think three. And Elizabeth had one or two little kids. It and doesn't you're matter. Have, no one cares. Yeah, no one cares. Lots of kids. Anyhow, Thank I'm you, trying Laura. to figure this out. And, How and many like, kids did she have when we were on a walk? I I think it was three because it was in 1997. So I'm pretty sure. Okay. The point what was is, the brand of the there's stroller? Like, there's a five mile walk to the other side, right? Was it five? This miles? is not good content. Like Please let no, me save no, it. No, no, let, no. Let's but, let, let's let's fast forward right to the end of the good okay, part. Fine. She she went nuts and basically. Well, she took up walking. Was like. <laughs> no, no. We we just go to the end, and I feel like. She went nuts. She accused my wife of things, and I told her she couldn't talk to her like that. You and I went out to give her some space, and I never realized that I could invite someone to my house, and things would get so bad that I would have to tell them, "I don't care where you go. You need to leave. I'm not buying so you a you, hotel." You, you and I. So you out. and I took her to a rental car. I place. called you and I'm like, yeah. "Please come and help me." And you said you can't reason with crazy. Right? Wasn't that? I've learned learned that. Yep. Made that (laughs) mistake with this little handcuff right here. (laughs) Drop her off. (laughs) All right, Trent, you can see So then I, yeah, so then I I came and we we took her, we dropped her at the rental car place. And as soon as like the door shut and you like walked her inside, you, or you didn't even walk her in, you opened her door and she got out and you just jumped into the passenger seat and you looked at me and you said, drive. That's right. I did say that. She said, drive. The best day of my life. We just peeled out of there. But so, I mean, she just got this sort of obsession with you. Like, want, I was worried we would get back to the house and we would see in like your bedroom, all the pictures of you and Cameron would have her face cut out and hers like superimposed over it. Over but I honestly, the, the thing that's the worst part of the story is that she never really spoke to me like at all. Like I was alone with her even <laughs> at times. And I'd be like, so <laughs> potty in the back. Nothing. <laughs> And she and I was practically invisible, so I think she was. I think she had some 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 mental issues, possibly. That's, That's what fair. I would conclude. She was from. clearly blind. So it's good that we're crapping this. all over. But it, it yeah. brought us together. It did. It, it, was, it, was, it was one of those. That was the stri- first the first day where uh, we're like, we're a team. We can we're do team. this. <laughs> we're, we're, we 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 complement each other well, and it, and, it, and it all works out. And then other adventures and such from there. So I would like to know how when Laura first fell for Trent. Like Ooh. you knew him, I'm sure, and thought he's yeah. a fine guy. But when did you go? Oh wow, I think I might really like him. Okay, so Trent, when you we first... have w- one down vote is Sarah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was watching. oh no. Well, she what's funny, real, real quick? Thursday said, "Okay, I'm too good at Google. I found her." Actually, he is that good at Google, oh. and I'm pretty sure he probably did find her. Please don't share that. I'm sure he wouldn't. Okay, continue. <laughs> Uh, Laura. So for now, everybody's... How would he find her? I don't know. He's incredible. He's it's very, ridiculous. Whoa, he that's also knows amazing. more about us than your average person. Do you know my past? Find my ex-boyfriends Thursday. <laughs> Let's see what it. they're up to, okay? What are their salaries Thursday? So <laughs> I'm not interested, just so you know. I was kidding. Um, Can you hack their accounts? They don't reply to Facebook requests. <laughs> <laughs> The stalking, is, the stalking has failed. Trent is the man. First time I met, fell for Trent. So Trent, um, when you first meet him, is not how when you get to know him, which I think everybody who yes. is a good friend of Trent will agree. When you first meet him, he seems very shy, which is interesting because he's a public speaker, but I found that most public speakers are very introverted. Um, so he does not give off the impression that like he's very 
um, like talkative or jokey or, you know, you, you give off a good first impression. I'm sorry. I don't mean to like crap on you. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry. You're a great person. <laughs> I just mean he doesn't come off bubbly. He, but he's, he's this so childish funny. weirdo that watches cartoons <laughs> and then who's not attracted to wi- women, attracted women at all. Uh, and he's has a Jewish silent. Haircut. Little Jew that won't do no, it. No, Trent is wonderful. Okay. So, but then I heard him speak and I was like, all right, all right. And so I saw a video of him speaking at Albuquerque campus on an Albuquerque campus. And I called over my roommate when I was at Franciscan and I'm like, come look at my future husband. Cause he was talking about abortion. And then I ended up marrying him. Boop. High five. And, um, yeah. So, but the first time that I was attracted to Trent was probably when I heard him speak about pro-life issues because I was dating a guy at that time who said all I talked about was abortion and my nephew. And he was really annoyed by that. And so I think when I saw like, okay, this is what men can be like actually defending the unborn themselves. And then I was like, okay, I want to marry a man like that. And I didn't know that Trent was married because I thought you were older and I thought you were dating Rosa at the time. Sorry. I just dropped her name, whatever, but she's it's lovely. Okay. Thursday like, no, was going to find her. It's okay. Tell her. Was gonna she, Google she's it. nice. She wasn't some kind of crazy person. We dropped it like Hertz rental car. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice lady. Okay. But I thought you were Hispanic. And so when why I did, saw you why? with Rosa, I'm like, they're so cute. They're definitely going to marry each other. <laughs> she, she had, she had broken up with me. I think like two weeks before that. The wound yes. was still, was still fresh, processed okay. and raw. In the heart. <laughs> yeah, but that was the first time that I was like, okay. Your I, sister even said dated. She He dated her past tense. Yeah, that's true. But I definitely thought you two were going to get back together. But you, did you were you were did you like me anyways at that point? I liked you at I that point. I thought you were attractive. No, that's not true. You liked yes, the girl I did. that looked exactly like me. That's not true. No, Ooh, that is what? true. Oh, Sarah? Lila yeah. Rose. <laughs> Lila, <laughs> you bring up her name in my house. <laughs> Who doesn't and look at you here? Like, you're both petite. That's, you have that. That no, that's not true. I interviewed you for my documentary as an excuse to be able to talk to you. Yeah. You're in. If you go to my uh, don't, 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 don't. It's, Go to Thursday, put up the link. <laughs> Go to it. But Patreon you, slash you had, you had your little maroon shirt and your white hat, and you were like, abortion is murder. Abortion <laughs> is murder. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, so that was the first time that I was restricted in. Let's talk about you. So you were like, he's pro-life. That's hot. He is yeah. pro-life. Well, I mean, Kyle, can I say this? In <clears throat> Kyle Whittington said something quite funny. He said, neither me nor my wife have exes. Both of us were remarkably off-putting people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like Kyle Whittington. When I see their picture, though, they are a lovely couple. I wish that I could meet them in person because they're all over the internet. But um, okay, so when was it for you? No, I don't want to talk about love stories. That's boring. What else? Can we- <laughs> it was well. I felt that way when I met you when you were, you know, you were just really. You, well, I liked when you debated that professor. You just went at him. And he was like, you can't just rebut everything I say with a bunch of questions. You're like, why? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, the way uh, I, I'm the voice. I know you were younger, but you weren't like a five year old. Why? Yeah, I was 19. No. You but were, I lied. You were, no, you I were. was 17 when you, we met. Did you lie? Did you lie about your age then? No, I was 17. All right, when we Jerry met. Seinfeld. Yeah. But I was dating someone else. But then he said that he wouldn't. He dated date. a seventeen-year-old, but he was thirty-nine. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Did he Seinfeld. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. But I, I get it. No. No. <laughs> don't go there. Not on camera. <laughs> What's the deal with girlfriends? They're always talking about home, home room, homework. I have to go home. What is the deal? I stole that from someone else, by the way. <laughs> but it applies. That's funny. <laughs> it was uh, funny. But Trent said that he would never date a teenager, and I was nineteen, so I lied about my age, and I said that I was twenty. And then when I was about to turn 20, I would have been turning 21. But I like he would have thought that I was turning 21. Mm -hmm. So I I have the journals from the time and I'm like, have to come honest with Trent. I can't believe that popped out of my mouth. I feel so bad that I've been living this lie. And I'm like, I need to talk to you so bad about something really important. He's like, here it goes. You're going to dump me. I'm 19. And he's like, oh. That's great. <laughs> when I when I said a teen, I meant like a ninth. I meant like a seventeen year old, and I did know. Nineteen was great, and you were almost twenty. Because it's when true. because when we first met, you were seventeen, and then I yeah. got to know you, and then you then I found out you were seventeen. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and we reconnected two years later, and everything's fine. Yeah, it true. worked out. 
Yeah, it did work out. So, what, all right, what else are we going to talk about? Love stories are boring. They are so boring. Are you bored by love stories? I was at the end, but the start of it, I really liked it. Okay. Yeah. Of ours? Yes. Yeah. I think it, whenever a story drags on longer than a minute and a half, okay. I'm like, I don't know. Well, then you got to interrupt. So this nobody talk over anybody is not <laughs> running. <laughs> well, what it can was we... me with the Mission Gorge Trail. Someone. What, what do you want to talk? You interrupted that. What do you want to <laughs> talk about? It doesn't have to be about us. Well, it can be what we think about stuff, or maybe the audience oh, wants yeah, to Yeah, we could answer questions. questions. People want to send in questions. Yes. Feel free. How many people are watching? I have a story about Trent okay. as we're telling stories. Well, why don't you tell that story if, and then I will keep track of questions, of questions. that are interesting yes. enough to... write questions in the comments. Um, I don't remember where I was flying to, but I was traveling by myself with four little children. And I remember... I don't even remember... You ran into me. I ran into you. Yeah. And I was so excited because I w- my kids were done and they were melting oh, yeah. down and I was just exhausted. And I got on the plane and I was like, Trent! And you're like, oh, hey... And I don't know if it was Southwest or it was somewhere where you could like sit where it you must have been sit. Southwest. It must have been Southwest. Yeah. And I was like, and you're like, oh, how are you doing? Yeah. You want a kid to sit by me? And I'm like, yes, please. So I had, I had two kids by you, two kids by me. And I was like, oh, I can breathe. You know, when you're like just so overwhelmed and done as a parent yeah. and like, you were like my favorite person that day I was like, and I remember calling you. Do you remember this? It's because you weren't breastfeeding. You could see that I was a normal human. Being. <laughs> yes. Your, brain, your brain was working. My brain was working. And yeah. I was like, this is she a good sat name. down <laughs> exasperated and went, okay, thank you. Do you, do you need me to breastfeed? He's like, no, I <laughs> never asked for that. I promise. I do don't you, want do that. You need no. me to breastfeed my child first before it's the next no. <laughs> Just do, no, do the, and do the 10%, not the 90%, 10% down. <laughs> I normally did 10%. 10%. Good. All right. So, okay. So you sat down and yeah, I remember because I I helped and they watched a little, I think I gave them a little something to watch. Yeah. But I just felt so good. And I was like, oh, because it was my second flight of the day and I was already exhausted and I was about to kill him. And I was praying, Lord, please give me the grace, give me the grace. And then he gave me Trent Horn. And I was like, that was perfect grace. No, when when I'm out and about, I used to have a lot harder time with children. I never disliked them, but I didn't have an, you know, an affection. Yeah. Which I think is a great thing to say on the internet. I never had affection for children. (laughs) That's something you can never get in trouble for saying. But then I think another reason I didn't develop that was I didn't have, you know, a lot of like, you know, cousins or little kids in my life. So I always worry people, I hold my baby. I would worry like if I like, they're like really fragile. Like what if I just drop them and they're like a vase, they would just shatter into a million pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, you definitely shouldn't drop a baby. (laughs) Like what if I just drop this kid? But apparently, no, they bounce, right? They're fine. (laughs) It was a fear. You shouldn't do that. And not just that they'll shatter, but like they will just leap out of your arms and shatter and die and it'll be your fault. But then after like, but then after we had kids, I was like, oh, it's, it's the adults that can't handle them that act like little kids that's that right. I can't mm-hmm. stand. That's I think you're right. And so, I remember yeah. here hearing Bill Maher talking about how he hates kids and the whole audience laughed. And I thought, could it be that you're just immature and yeah. undisciplined and should yeah. be more compassionate to people, you know, who have less control, yeah. self-control and they're, than you? Yeah, and they're they're trying to just figure out the world. And, you know, some kids are annoying, but honestly, most of that is because of the precedents their parents have set for them. But yeah, like if, we're, if, like if we're on planes, it's just like, look, if someone is crying or screaming, my gosh, you can't be a big kid and just tolerate something that's a nuisance. I don't know. People just take themselves too seriously. But yeah, when I see little kids on planes, I, I just think it's fun. It's just like, you know, you wave and let them know it's, you know, fun to be there. It's just adults. They just demand like, I have to have perfect silence and this has to be my luxury. Mm-hmm. Being on a plane, by the way, it's not luxury anymore. That was like the 70s. No. Yeah, when you could smoke fair. cigarettes yeah. and had a steak on a plane. Now we're just cattle. Mm-hmm. Just accept yeah. your cattle and get over your expectations. I find it. So you love to like play with. This sounds wrong. I'm like, you love to play with kids. But they. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just digging my wife's grave. You're digging my grave. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't throw me under no, the bus. Sh- you threw me under like I'm 10 bus. So glad this is not points with Aquinas. Awesome. One last time. Go. Awesome. I told you. You're welcome. What? It would have been number one for sure. They, you love to like interact with children like on like planes. Like you'll be like peekaboo or you'll be like, oh, you can sit here. It's great. Like I love children, which is super, super kind. But as a mom, do you get intimidated by those situations? Because if someone is like if my child is misbehaving and someone is trying to make it better, it almost makes me more nervous. No, I, I appreciate that. Well, I, tr- I, I try not to be intrusive about it. Like, I don't touch hands myself, but I'll be yeah. like, you know, peekaboo yeah. or I'll wave or smile yeah. or do like, I know, think that's the kind. Smile is like, okay, it's okay. Yeah. This person gets it. It's okay. Yeah. And I don't know how many other people's babies I've like gotten to sleep on airplanes. 
because I just offer to help them because I see moms like and overwhelmed. I, and amazing. I like it. And then the kids kind of like calm down and they're okay with me. I think they see me and they think I'm like a cartoon that came to life because oh, my I... head is like unusually large for an adult's body. <laughs> and so they're like, he's just like a, he's like a cartoon character from Disney. I like him. And I think that's they, they kind of calm down. So it's true. You do have very cartoonish figure like features. Like, well, what? look at my. Where's your? We should get your laptop out. That, they know the logo of. Well, like people drew. We had people draw caricatures of you. Like, is that supposed to be you? Is that you? But everyone looks at mine, and multiple people have done caricatures of me. And like ninety five percent of they people can look, look like at you. that and like, oh, that's Trent Horn. Yeah. I'm like, am I that cartoonish <clears throat> of an individual? Is that easy to just draw me? You just draw like curly hair, a big nose, and like, there he is. That's Trent Horn. <laughs> Could I read a few comments here from people coming in? Yes. Uh, somebody said, breastfeeding my baby to sleep and you are keeping me company. Ha ha. Oh, so that's nice. Oh, are you breastfeeding 90% showing? Or <laughs> somebody <laughs> said, this is literally just y'all hanging out and it feels so intimate, but very relatable. And then Kyle sent a $9.99 super chat saying, rest in peace, this video's chances at monetization. <laughs> Mark. But thanks for the 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> now I get we'll 250. Yes. <laughs> Mark. You technically get $5. We're half and half. We're not going fourths. You and I don't own bank accounts. Come on. Husbands Scrap. only. Mark says, men can't offer to help. They would get weird looks. That is a fear a lot of men have. I think oh, men just have to so push sad. past it. Yeah, I think you... You should be able to do that. Just don't be weird. I think the yeah. biggest thing is like, don't offer to hold, don't offer to make physical contact, but you can offer like, would you like, you know, my snack, uh, you know, just like wave, you know, just, uh, just smiling. I think it's just the biggest yeah. thing. Just showing, just showing a mom. I'm okay that you're here. You're not annoyed. I think that just doing that is helpful. When I said I was intimidated, I mean, like if my kid keeps crying or if I have to like do something that I have to ignore this person, it's like another person in the mix. Yeah. I didn't mean no, like I'm fair. insulted by them. I mean, like then it's my own temperament's fault. I feel like I have to then have that person in on who I have to make happy. Does that make sense? When I'm already trying to comfort yeah. my child. Does yeah. that make sense? I think it's also an like an American thing too. So like Father Lewis talks about in Haiti, like kids love them and they come yeah. running and playing and they yeah. interact and they play. And he always has to remind himself he's here and he's a priest and he's in a collar. And he's like, that's not how you relate to priests here. And then also all the bad yeah. things that have happened, you know, there's like this barrier. Um, because my kids sometimes get rough with them. I'm like, I'm so sorry. He's like, I love it. This is like the way it is in Haiti because they're just interacting and jumping and being wild and... Uh, I'll read a question here. Frads, I've loved hearing you share about navigating chronic illness together. I have endometriosis and I'm struggling with how to ask for support from the man I'm discerning marriage with. Advice. Mm. Did you are the perfect person to give advice to this since you had endometriosis. Yes. Um, I think being honest with them and explaining what you're going through and how you're feeling. I think even like when we were dating, um, I got very sick both when I was on my period and when I was ovulating. And just kind of sharing that with you. And if you could be supportive in that, you know, that's a good sign. But if you're dating someone who's like, oh, gosh, you're not feeling well again. Oh, and they're annoyed by it. You're not going to necessarily want that as a spouse, like that you always feel like you have to apologize. So I think, um, yeah, just saying like, I don't feel like going out tonight. Is it OK? So we had more nights that we'd like stay in when I was sick. Right. Well, we've we've had our own crosses to bear there I knew as well. You were gonna bring out like I have a chronic, I think no, I might have a chronic kidding, food no allergy to <laughs> to McDonald's, and like I would go for sustenance and then need like a two hour nap afterwards. And Laura's like, <laughs> I can't. Thing. My, you know, how Trent. are we supposed to function if you're like always needing to take a nap? And I'm like, my body, this is a chronic thing that I've had to deal with. I want to say the f word. <laughs> So bad. Right now. So I, under, so I understand button? everybody has their <laughs> can cross. Can I kick him Good. under the table? Can I kick him? Ow. <laughs> Everyone's kicking and poking me. You totally. poke me. Uh, here's what. Here's the problem. Okay, here's the problem. I will go out and Laura will give me contradictory advice. She will say, just be yourself. And you're so funny and outgoing. You don't have to be quiet and reserved. Be yourself with people to make friends. And then I'll go and I'll be myself and I'll say something. No, he says super, super. No, he'll start off with the racist joke. And I'm like... <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> no, if it's like anti-Semitic, I can make those half the time. No, because it's not I'm an anti-Semitic joke. It's like a <laughs> very good trend. bad joke that you wouldn't make in 2020 or they burn your house down joke. <laughs> Who are they? Laura. Really? She will. Antifa. She has the matches. Okay, Ready. The white people. Ooh, that's true. <laughs> no, and then, and then when we're at the table, I get this stinging pain in my thigh 
And I say, ow. Then I know, it, you can't even keep the ow inside. And I'm like, I clearly... I'm clearly poking Want you for a to reason. Reprimand you under the table. This is getting bad for me. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, I would say two things I really love about you. Apologies too. to the Gordons. <laughs> I know, but no, we get along. We do okay. get along. One thing is, I, I was surprised at how good a dad you were. Not because I thought you'd be a bad dad, but I just thought you'd be an average dad like me. And then I saw you <laughs> relate with your kids. I'm like, holy mackerel, he's really good. Um, you're obviously a great mom as well. But one thing I, I love about you, Laura, is just how honest you are about how you fail. It's shocking. I think a lot of us are honest about how we fail to a point because we're afraid of scaring the other person off. But you, I don't know, maybe it's even further and you don't share as much as you do, but you, you share so with crazy. how you struggle and it just makes me feel less alone. Oh, and I think that's why people yeah. love you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Because I, yeah, I don't know. The other day I went to confession and he's like, is there anything that you haven't done? And I'm like, oh yeah, for sure. I didn't misuse corporal punishment as much. I didn't like gossip as much. And he's like, no, I was being sarcastic. Like your list was <laughs> really long. You really need to take care of some of these sins. <laughs> Thanks Can I, Father. let me read this one from Anastasia. My husband and I were about to watch a show tonight until you guys came on live. So we're watching you all and I cannot stop laughing. My husband is confused and entertained at the same time. <laughs> that sounds about right. And Elizabeth <laughs> sent $10. She said, miss you guys. Merry Christmas. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Eddie. We referenced oh, you Jesus. earlier, Elizabeth. Oh. Elizabeth, I don't know if you guys saw the beginning of the story, but the. No, I don't. <laughs> they will make they, people will make connections. We do not want to call her out. No, I'm saying this is Elizabeth, not Sarah. I no. know what you're saying. Still don't. Oh, trust okay. me. Well, I was gonna say how much I love you and you're amazing and beautiful. And when That's I good. needed somewhere for my kids to go, That's she took a couple of our kids for an perfect, overnight. Perfect. Perfect. She's amazing, and our kids love playing with perfect. her and baby Liam. She, yeah. and all she was the only person friend. willing willing to go with my group to see Jurassic World when it came out. It's true. No Elizabeth one else. No one else was willing to go friend. with me. Do you yeah. know she has a successful YouTube channel called Movies with Mom? No, but yeah, I'll look she does. It up right now. <gasps> She's taking a six month break, but she oh, does reviews. Movies with Mom. Yeah, she does. Elizabeth, good for you. She also does um, homeschooling with joy. No, wait, what's the name of it? Bonnie Landry. Oh yeah, she did. I thought she only had her on the podcast. I didn't think she did a podcast. No, they, they kind of do it together. It's Bonnie Landry and it's Elizabeth Evans. Movies Evan with her. mom. Movies All right, is that what you're looking up with? That's her thing. And you can see the editing is really good. Yeah, there That's it is. Right? Tim clearly designs it. Tim used to work for Catholic Answers. He used oh. to. Be oh my goodness, oh. Elizabeth, I'm so excited to watch this. Thank you for doing that. That's so fun. Wow. Yeah, be great. she does like reaction videos and stuff. I wouldn't do reaction videos. How come? She, why didn't you text me that you were doing that? Why? Why didn't you tell me she was doing that? You, there why should, didn't you tell me? There, 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 there should be videos of people reacting to you. That's what the channel should just be. Yes, it should be me funny. recording you and then just asking like how to do like grandparents. Like, what do you think of this? <laughs> Elizabeth, next video you need to do you reacting to one of her videos. Laura, what is one of your favorite funny movies? My favorite funny movie is probably Spy. I love that movie. Did we see that? A lot. Starring Matt Frad. No. It AKA, does AKA you. Jude Law. You guys watched it and you guys thought it was very funny, but I think you guys forgot about it. Really? You, you texted me that you forgot, that you thought it was really funny when Did I recommend I? it. Oh. Yeah. It has, yeah, um, Jude Law and... Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. It's a really funny movie. It's like pretty oh, yes. inappropriate. It's, Did we see but that? it's it's offensive. So she's like, what are you, an effing Kenyan? <laughs> Is that the line? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when she's like, you're funny. It's the Bulgarian clown in you. We quote An this all the time. Another one, I think another one that's a guilty pleasure for us would be Night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury or 21 Jump Street. 21 I love Jump 21 Street. Jump Street yeah. very much and 22 Jump Street, but it's not as funny. But um, all these are not this? super appropriate. Night at the Roxbury isn't too bad. But it's really funny. There's this, this, there's this line in 21 Jump Street where the guy is all concerned. He's like, do you know what they do to me? Do you in, know what they jail. do to guys like me in prison? It rhymes with grape. And that's what it reminded me of when he yelled it in the whatever podcast when he's like, because if a, if a therapist did that to a patient, it would be grape. And I was like, that was like the lamest line ever. It's hard me. because my brain clicked in as I wanted to say it because Brian was very, say it. Brian was very like, please don't say that on the podcast. I don't get in trouble. It like, wasn't you. It was the fact that Brian won't, he has these super controversial things with like foot long cleavage and then he doesn't let people say the words. Like grape. I think it was only like eight inches. Okay. Uh, or so, or so, that? or so I've been told. <laughs> hey, you can look in the comments. By the way, I was affirmed well, multiple times for inches. keeping for custody 
of the eyes. I didn't hear it. I don't even know. I got another favorite Laura Horn memory. We went to a Halloween party in San Diego and you were dressed up like Superman. Yes. And, yes. and there were, we, at, when we arrived, there was someone dressed up like Supergirl. And I said, I nudged Laura. And Laura, look, Supergirl. And she went, that slut. <laughs> Well, you didn't dress up as anything to go with me. I was just there in my costume well, I by myself. Dress up. I'm like, what person is going to dress up to this that party? Girl, super girl. Gal Gadot. And I'm like, what? Can't okay, I go way back? All Jews know each other. It's true. It's true. It's a small world. <laughs> right, basically. But no, it's too soon to make Jew jokes. Okay, Trent, we've been over it. Okay, <laughs> give it a week, you monster. <laughs> Half the time. All right, I'll, I'll skip the next one. Half Isaac time. says, I just joined and the first thing I heard is, I think it was eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I said. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> See, I'm just like filling in your grave. I'm just like restoring your honor. <laughs> you have brought a backhoe in. It is dug <laughs> It is dug down in past the crust to the earth's oh, mantle. And now I am in burning oh. magma. <laughs> oh. I think I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, good for it. You need to go to the bathroom? Are you going to pee? I know. Yeah. All right. All the right. other day, a woman peed because she laughed so hard at me, and I considered it a high compliment. Now, did she tell you that, or did she pee in front of you and oh, over your floor? Oh, she definitely floor? told me. Yeah, women usually are like, no, nah, I got to go. We're very open about that. I feel like sometimes too open, actually. <laughs> All right. Turn on your pint skills. What do you want to ask us? What, what would you want to ask us if you had us both on pints? We want to do that at some point, but okay. we what, what is one thing that you've learned through how many years of marriage that, that maybe like an obstacle that you've overcome in marriage i know go ahead how many how many years have you been married and a little more than 10 yeah we 10 just celebrated our 10th right. what is a real obstacle not like a fake one that everyone's like oh, okay yeah sure. yeah um yeah vacation okay whatever um but i would say um that like nagging is the death to marriage i thought nagging made things easier and it makes things way worse so i thought i was like showing how smart I was with nagging. It legit took me 10 years. I read the book, The Empowered Wife, and that's when I was like, I've been wrong this entire time. But I thought by correcting him, he would appreciate me somehow. Like he would realize like how much I knew and he would love me more. Mm. And it makes him love you less. Nothing makes you feel better than when someone tries to show they're superior to you. Well, it does. It was like, oh, now he'll like appreciate that I'm doing this for him or that I know better. And so like you'll think that I'm smart or... You know what I mean? So it was... Well, this goes back to my affirmation of you is that you're very good at, at... Like, I asked you what's an obstacle you've overcome and the first thing you do is point to a flaw in yourself. Like, that's that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's because well, I suck, but thank you very no, much. No, you do not <laughs> no, suck at all. You. Well, you were just trying to make your... You just found a better way to make your needs known. And I and I think nagging is brought on oftentimes, though, it's, she she's uh, that the husband is being insensitive or dense and he hasn't noticed a need needs to be met. And so the wife feels a bit frantic about it and tries to make the need known, but in a way that's insensitive. So it's nagging. But there You're, comes a point, though, where nothing you could do was right. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. the more you nag, the more you nag. Well, you're the nagging lawn, lawnmower. So did you notice when she realized she should stop? And did you notice Oh, it felt so much better. So instead of saying something like, uh, are you going to take out the trash later? It would it would say oh I'd love if the I'd love if the trash was taken out later tonight, so it's it's more like just making the request known yeah. or you know I'd love yeah. uh, oh I'd love if the leaves uh, weren't all up in the sidewalk or like hey you're on your computer so much why are you on your computer like do you want to spend time together and then when they spend time with you you feel like you force them to do it so what would be a better way of so saying instead, that so instead like I really miss you like I would love to spend time with that you is really good like and he's like oh okay you know what I mean like mm -hmm. your desire instead of what they're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. So you're pointing out the good thing that's absent that you would like to be placed there. And so, yeah, I think that that's definitely that's really, really helped. We're well, not perfect. Sometimes we'll say that, that empowered wife book is full of crap. I'm going totally. back to nagging. <laughs> 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 Feels so good. She's not married to men that I'm married what about to. yourself? Is it like it's something you had to learn that you've gotten better at? Oh yeah. Well, I think one thing comes to communication. I think, and I'm still trying to get better at this, but things like check-ins, like, and I mean, I still like, face planted the other day where Laura thought that I would be home to uh, watch John Paul. So this was on a day off so that, you know, she could go and do something. And I thought, oh, I don't feel good. I don't want to go into jujitsu, but she left. And I thought, well, I do pay for this and I'm going to, you know, I don't want to regret not going and I go, but I didn't tell her. And so then I wasn't there when she got home and I didn't tell her I was going out. So there's conflict there, but that's a rarity more. I, I've learned like, Oh, 
I need to, if I'm going to make a plan or things change, it's not like I'm reporting to a boss. It's just, it's just a check-in like, mm-hmm. Hey, I'm, yes. I'm doing this or not even that I'm asking permission. It's just, I'm giving a heads up. It's just a check in Yes. because then there's a lot of fighting when it's like, I thought you were doing this. I thought we were doing this. And just all of a sudden comes at you or you said you were going to do this and now you're not. And there's disappointment. So just always being very, okay, do I need to, quick text? I'm just going to do a check in. And then, you know, we know what's going on here. You've gotten better at that over the years as well. He's very independent. Are you guys independent? Well, you are independent. Are you independent? What do you mean by independent? All the women independent. Like, he'll just go and Throw do your thing. hands up at me. Like, whereas if I, if I go fill up the car, like I tell him, like, I, I want to go as a family to fill up the car. He, it's okay, a little that, needy. That's good. Well, here's one thing I've learned <laughs> that you tell us one way you've sucked and have gotten better at. That's the deal. That's what we're doing while you're okay, in the bathroom. Cool. That was the, um, that's how it, what it became. Well, it took me 17 years to realize this, just, even though you've told me multiple times, Laura, and you might relate to this as a man, I am very fine eating alone. So mm-hmm. I'll go to a restaurant, to. I'll open a book, I'll read it. I, I kind of like it. I'll find a corner. Yeah. My wife hates eating alone yeah. she's actually very offended by eating alone yeah. and so especially out in public it's lonely i've so, never been out to eat by so myself. so recently we were out on a trip somewhere and uh i went to a restaurant on my own because i just needed a break we had a very stressful drive through la yeah cameron wanted to go to the beach I'm like cool you go to the beach i'm just gonna relax and i just went down to the restaurant and had a meal around dinner time and uh, I know, I know, you don't have I'm to so rub proud it in. Of you. No, I'm, and I, I'm proud I took of you a, I took a me. photo of it to send to camera. That's how oblivious I was. Yeah. Like, if I knew it would hurt you, clearly I wouldn't be like yeah. doing a victory lap. Hey, I'm totally. eating a burger. <laughs> um, but but I sent it to her, and you were very offended. But to me, I've, I've I couldn't for the. I still don't really understand why. But that's not the point. The point is, you do like to eat with me and not to eat alone. So that was one way I have you failed and have gotten better. Wife. I would love for you to not be such a dick. I was so offended. I'm like, you ate and dinner without me. Well, the argument for so long was he's like, it wasn't dinner. I just had a burger. It was a snack. I'm like, a hamburger is not a snack. So I'm proud of you for saying there, a hamburger was a meal. Now, what's going to be interesting now is asking the most choleric human being on the planet one way yes. she has failed and gotten better. I'm not the most choleric. Can There's way more little... choleric people what? than me. Can I have a session? I'd like you, you to tell me one way. That... No, that's not how this works, woman. I do. The, the game is not me up, telling you game. how you suck. And if you can't do it, we'll just move on. I have the rest so... of us are able to point out something. I've had so many ways that I have failed. Yeah, yeah. It's We're looking for one. one. Yeah, but, but pick one. <laughs> pick one. See if you can. And try to make it significant. No. I could there's, literally tell 10 stories. There's you so can't many. Think of one? No, there's so many. They're I very don't even different. know which one to pick. I'll give you $100 if you can pick one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Laura will give you $100. <laughs> okay. There's so many ways. All right, that so we'll I go failed. to some questions no, here. No, a lot of questions I'm here in the like comments section. It's like the Republican section. debate. Where they're like I've been told it. most women. No, listen. Oh. Okay. Okay, so there's so many ways that I have messed up at this, Thank you. but Jeez. one, this is so hard. Okay, there's so many ways that Shouldn't I messed be, up. Though, but I'm I, so <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so flawed. And Are so you much though? Up in so if many you ways. are, tell yes. us one way you're, you're flawed. Okay. Tell the internet. So, tell, tell them. Okay, if you are, just open up to the small group of friends <laughs> and 400 people who are watching. <laughs> okay. Okay, so one area that I was really bad in in the beginning of our marriage <laughs> was letting you, Matt, apologize to me <laughs> for how you would screw up so often. Just been quieter. No, I. <laughs> okay, one thing when we had kids, I thought there was a right way to do things, and then your way to do things, or a different way to do things, and I wanted you to do everything exactly like the way I wanted, and this is what needed to get done. And I think this I don't know that I am better at it. Choleric <laughs> apology. No, I used to. I think, think I think I've gotten better. Please God, I've gotten better at letting you do things your own way. So like, if I went out and I'd be like, okay, make sure the kids are in bed at this time and do this, this, and this, and make sure you do all these things, and I don't do that anymore. Like I let you do it your way, and I don't try to tell you what to do and make you do it my way. I That's think not that I... really. I mean, do you? So, do you think what I do with the children is inferior to how? Because if you do, then what you're sharing is not really a fault. This is very interesting, isn't it, guys? 
Maybe that's why I'm so deep. enamored with Laura's ability to point to her own. Do you course. have Dr. Bob's oh, number? Because we need to call him Dr. Bob. right Let's now. Call Dr. Bob. Okay. No, no I... you could surely think of one thing <laughs> yes, that you've I done wrong. Yes, I mess up in so many areas. You've said that eight times now. <laughs> All we're looking for is one. That's it. Can you give us one? It's possible that you're already a saint. I'm not a saint. Well, I mess up a lot. Okay, I, one way. I, I don't clean the house as well as you would like the house clean. But see, that's about me still. <laughs> You see what I mean? It has to be the me. All right, so we just need one way where... I'm very ju- forgetful. I forget to do things. All right, there you go. So we've all Man, shared and Cameron forgets stuff. No, no, There's no, that's so good. There's so much more. No, no, I'm sure There's there is. There's so much. Oh my goodness, I'm not all good right. enough to anything so on the spot like this. Blue Comb 53 says, if you could help create a I lose a date- my patience a lot. <laughs> Blue Comb 53 says... If you could create a dating show for Catholics, what would the essentials need to be in terms of activities? Laura, go. In terms of activities, like yeah. how to date? Is that what he's I, saying? I guess it's a dating show. It's a reality TV yeah. show? I, I don't know. Take it as you will. Let's see. Someone said St. Cameron Fred, pray for us. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I am so messed up and I fail in so many I'm ways. Like, I'm so you sorry that time. I can't. Tenth time. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I can't think of them uh-huh. on the spot. You know all of them. Just tell me. <laughs> Your waist is too small. My waist is just too small. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you volunteer too much. <laughs> I have put on like seven pounds. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. And I don't really volunteer thing. for things. This dating thing. Does he mean like activities? Someone said that that, that was the best Trump impression. What you I, just <laughs> okay, so you have a you have Match, a date. It's a matchmaker game. Is right. a matchmaker no, game? Half, okay. half of the contestants are mentored by. Catholic women on the internet who are not married, yes. oh. and the other half are mentored by sup- super traditionalists on the internet. Oh. Oh. And then oh, we bring them together and see what happens. And what, and <laughs> and what they would eat happen? Each other. Laura, you go first. What would one interaction be? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I I don't know. Uh, I feel like this would end one asks the. Uh, one so says, how many how many says, how many Laura, children says, do you think? I? No. Yeah. <laughs> How many children do you think we would have? And they'd say, oh, I don't know, three. And they're like, any answer less than twelve is a mortal sin. And then it, it just, off. then it just, and then she gets voted off the island. Yes. Or, I don't know. Let's see. Or what? I feel like you'd be good at coming up with these things. You're very creative, like that. Yeah, Trad Island would be a pretty cool thing. Trad Island, they would be so Where they watch you, they watch your like daily prayer routine and things like that, and then you get, people get voted off the island. For oh, I'd be off. Oh, I would be off that. I. They wouldn't even invite me on. I. I feel like I live a very tratty life. That's why I like to use the word fundamentalist because I'm like, it like deciphers because I consider myself very traditional. And like, that's why I'm like the separation between like, I can't even, I can't even name something that I feel like is like super ultra extreme, maybe like pearl extreme. But anyway, that's why I like to like differentiate it. But I do curse quite a bit. I'm working on it. So I feel like I'd be voted See, off. See, I don't curse, but I'd be voted off too. I'm not traditional enough. But I also think compared to the world, I am very traditional. And yeah. No moral. women can well, be on the trial think, island. Well, Sorry, yes. said oh, Kyle no. Whittington. <laughs> Cam- Cameron, do you think you would get voted off because you would tell the guy, well, look, there's two ways to do things. There's my way and then there's the wrong way. It's mm-hmm. so and then you're true. instantly voted off. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> I probably am a little too... It's okay, love. We've moved past that one. Uh, Eucharistic <laughs> showdown. Who will receive on the tongue? Who will receive in the hand? Maybe that's what it would be. I think we all. Yeah, right. That's I think funny. That's what this means. Uh, Other fun questions. I, How I'm, do you feel- I'm going to tattoo a small hand on my tongue. That way, I can just tell people I do both. Oh, Ooh. there you <laughs> go. Then I feel like I've, I receive I've outs- both. What I've about outsmarted hand? everyone. What about a tongue on your hand. <laughs> Tattooed tongue on your hand. No, because you still may have particles, so that doesn't help. Where if yeah. it's on this hand, yeah, you're good. So then. Is there a okay? Here's a good one. Other fun question. It's not actually that fun, Aaron. Because I also don't want a anyway. tongue on my hand when I'm meeting people. Back to this tongue. Wow, <laughs> you're just throwing that back. Tongue, can't okay let it go. It. You're like, wait, about this tongue situation. <laughs> I can't let go. I might have autism. <laughs> I'm not hundred percent sure that should be on my tongue. Or my hand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why am I saying this? I'm usually so nice. You are being incredibly <laughs> nice to you. It's okay. I couldn't think of anything wrong that I've done in our Laura's marriage. love language is deprecation. <laughs> are you feeling <laughs> brings, it? Brings me down so I feel so much better when I'm brought up later. It's true. <laughs> uh, okay, here's a question from Erin. She says it's a fun question. It's not, but she says, how do you feel about working outside the home? 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry. It is a fun question, Aaron, because you're saying this is part of the game. <laughs> Oh yeah! I thought she was asking us the question. Here's a fun question. No, no. The first, the first challenge. Are you serious, the first Aaron? challenge is like you have to construct or or do something. And on the beach, there are like these little model homes, and you go and do the challenge. But any of the women who did the task outside of the model home get voted off the island. Is this Trad it's, Island? Are we still on yeah, Trad Island? Yeah, and then it's like if okay. you really understood the framework, you would have completed the challenge inside one of the model homes. So oh. since. You left, and you, you're voted yeah. off. So you yeah. would have built yourself in the home? There's there's just like a series of mo little model kid playhouses or whatever in the task. So but it would have to be a small petite woman that could fit in there. I'm too tall. Oh, no. I wouldn't be able you to You have to be petite on Trad Island, okay? Oh, Otherwise, gosh. you're off. Jolly Chubby green feminist, giant you're over off. here. Eh. I'm off. Jumper off. But you can't leave the house because you can't call your husband first to leave the house. Oh, because you don't have a phone. You don't have a cell phone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're not allowed to have a cell phone. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Although I, I think a lot of us do think, though, it's good for women to be at home. What's funny is, well, we do. Actually, That's what I'm I, saying. I we live are a at home. Life. Ninety percent of the time, we're home with the kids. I, I like, like that. It. This took like a turn. Too. This is that island joke. <laughs> took a turn dark. I could tell now. Well, I, now, by well now I have to pitch another Catholic <laughs> dating show idea. Yeah. Okay, Matt, you pitch one. Well, first of all, Kyle Whittington just said, "Reject modernity, embrace tradition. Order a male order bride." Oh yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, but it depends on the name. Oh. If it comes and it's like a Helga, and you're like, I Big ordered again. her to Olga. <laughs> it's like this is wrong. <laughs> Send her back. <laughs> Should we stop and just hang out now? Cause sure. Oh uh, yeah, I feel like I'm drinking, digging trends. No, you're gray. beautiful. Yeah, deeper both and of deeper. you are excellent. Oh, thank it's you. me that didn't do no, good because I couldn't fine. admit. Well, look, There's you have so a chance now. Here's what we'll do. We I've will done. wrap up. Give us one. Now, no, we'll I need up. your help. All right. <laughs> I love you. I know that there's so many ways that I fail. I just have a really bad memory. I have like Really? Okay, what's one issues. of your strengths? <laughs> <laughs> Eating meat right now? Can Cameron, I think that you sometimes exaggerate things, so it's a bit ironic. I think you're exaggerating the lack of things you have to talk about where you could improve. It's all coming full circle. Oh. I think saying means and collar is exaggerated. When we first got married, Cameron would tell stories and they were never factually accurate, but they were but they way were funny. Yeah. They were super funny. I'm like, she lives in like a Hollywood movie world it's true. where everything is so cool. Um, and I learned over the years like, okay, you know, this is, this is actually how she interprets reality and it's way more exciting than <laughs> what I do. That's okay. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. It makes life more colorful and fun when people add you know, fancy little details to things, even if it didn't entirely happen that way. It's the thought that counts. But there's I'm also crazy things that happen to me that don't happen to other people. All right. We want, I want three questions for Laura Horn and then we'll wrap up. Why so me? same question, because you're the funniest. Because you're the funniest. I am not the funniest. Yeah, I are. hate that burden. And the it's most such cute, a burden. Petite, One day I'm going to kill myself and they're going to be like, none of us saw it coming. She's such a happy person. I'm like, the burden that was too high. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Hmm. All right, let's see. We need Suicide questions. Is this person funny. says, Cameron, you are an incredible Catholic carnivore, and I'm so thankful for your openness Catholic carnivore. and the beautiful work <laughs> that you allow the Lord to do. Called Catholic carnivore, it'd be amazing. Someone said, Where are the kids? And then someone responded, Tied up in the basement with earmuffs. <laughs> is that bad? No, no they're, upstairs. They're just dope. No, they're just doped up on melatonin. <laughs> it's a natural here's, occurring. Here's moment. your night night pill. I don't think. I gave my kids all the time. Yeah. I, I understand. I think what you mean by like the pressure to be funny. One thing I think that's actually quite sad is if you see a comedian being interviewed and they don't know how just to be normal. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they're just joke, joke, joke. That is fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My... Laura. Sorry. Didn't mean to cut you off. Oh no. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I think that's why I like Bill Barr so much. Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Yeah. Sorry. I was saying. Yeah. Sorry. I'm tired. He, he is who he is. Yeah. He's so funny. <clears throat> I don't know, if anyway, I know who that is. He's pretty inappropriate, but he's right. pretty funny. I'll show you some stuff. Uh, yeah. Rachel A this. says, thank you, Matt and Cameron, for your podcast about the carnivore diet. I left a comment, but in short, you spoke to my exact situation with my diet and illness. My husband and I are new converts. Blessings. Thank you so much. Oh, praise God. Yeah. Laura, do you have any good impressions? I so let's talk about this. Matt, right. did you say that you're carnivore? I said I'm doing carnivore plus whiskey plus I have paleo seen you at <laughs> eat so much shit. No, let's be honest. No, <laughs> really. Those three I things that I mentioned I is all I've done. That's oh, Really? Yes. You haven't eaten anything but that? That's then it. Then why in the fridge was there like a ton of cheese from last Yeah, cheese day? is carnivore. 
Oh, okay. So Jesus, I can't do it. So I'm, okay. yeah, I am a It's a very broad view of a carnivore. Carnivore <laughs> okay. means if it came from an animal. <laughs> or if an animal's ever touched it. So okay. this Twinkie was on the back of a donkey, therefore he could eat it. Okay, I'm so sorry oh. then. You've done great. Then That's I'm sorry. a good question here. Laura, when are you going to be a guest voice on Freedom Tunes? That has to happen <gasps> soon. Yeah, Seamus. When am I going to be Seamus, just <laughs> ask her already. Seamus is way too big. No, stop. That's so desperate. It's like asking but when please, your mom Seamus, makes you. Please, have her on. Ask guided You have a great you. voice. You would be very good on Freedom Tunes. <laughs> oh, you I would be an adorable little Freedom right. Tune. Thank you. That's yeah, very I'd kind. Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> I'd vote for that. I actually really love Seamus Coughlin. He's he a really great. nice person, and it is really hard for me not to text him on Trent's phone. Funny things. He's like, you have to stop. It's very hard for Seamus. No, it's very hard for Laura. Like, I don't want to leave my phone. I don't. I I don't want to leave my phone unlocked because she'll start scrolling through and seeing like people. I'm like, you have Lila Rose's number. You have Seamus Coughlin's number. You have Savvy (laughs) Ben Shapiro's producer's number. You have George Farmer's number. Like all these people, and I'm like, the future is mine. (laughs) Like I'm like so excited. You just want to like text them, but it's coming from me. Seen amazing. this vid and I like texted it to them. A lot it's of people have vid. commented on Trent's gym face looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, the gym face would be if it was just like, and it said, okay, Laura, what's a country you haven't visited you would like to take your family one day for a vacation and why? Oh, so we've been to Israel, and if I went any place, I'd go back to Israel. But I would like to go to Israel. So that's I've not a place that there. we haven't been, but I'd also like to go to Australia. But you brought your family? No, we didn't. We went when we were engaged. Uh, uh, Sorry, we went when we were dating, and I thought he was going to propose, and he didn't, and I was pissed, and we broke up. I know. Yeah, I'm still a little wrong. Okay, it's only like 20 years ago. (laughs) You you were the one that broke up with me. It was. I took it very hard. No, so he got down. uh, So, okay, even worse. Did you get on one knee in Israel? In front of a tree. It was a beautiful (laughs) tree, and he turned to me, and he's like, let's take a picture because I'm posing. And I heard because I'm... (laughs) proposing and so I'm like here we go so someone takes a picture and I'm all happy and in the next picture I realize it's not proposing and I'm like, yeah. I was like why is she so mad maybe maybe the falafel like, wait, wait, disagreed with her the wedding visa cana and he didn't propose and so I'm like he's not gonna marry me so I'm like I think we should break up because you're never gonna marry me and he's like okay and I'm like what that was a test I thought you're you were gonna fight marry for me, me. <laughs> well, I don't want to be creepy like if you don't want to if you don't want to no, date anymore no, I, well, we were going in different directions and I wasn't sure what was going to happen because you were still in nursing school. I was offered a job in another state to do pro-life and it didn't seem right at the time, but we it had, not. but we had some space and it, um, allowed us to kind of reset and reorient and then, okay, actually we could get married if we did this and we were, uh, you know, deliberate about the long distance courtship for the next year and a half till you were done with school and so it all worked out, and now we give all kinds of false hope to people who broke up. Like, do you yes. think we'll ever get back together we'll like you? Together like no, no, not no. at all. You won't. No. It's the exception to the rule. There's a book called, it's called A Breakup Because It's Broken, and it is phenomenal. And cool. it's very good. It's by the producer of Sex and the City, which I don't, of course, watch or love or anything. But he's basically like, <clears throat> move on. He wrote He's Just Not That Into You, which is also a great book. And it's just freeing to read that and be like, oh, he just doesn't like me. Like, yeah. he's just not into That's me. Easy. I can be Move a good on. person. And if he's not calling me, he's dating someone else. Like, he's not interested in me. He's not marrying me. Then he's just not that into you. Like, move mm-hmm. on. Hard to hear. but And it's also a very hard book to recommend. And also, like, I have think you read He's Just Not That Into You? You, say, you look yes. like you need this. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to recommend it to hundreds of people, not just one-on-one. Yes. And I think also part of, I, I think someone, we were talking about marriage advice or something, or the marriage game. I think realizing how much someone else is into you like how helpful that is going into marriage like i love that i know that you're so attracted to me and you love me it's too much and you want to spend time with me and it's good like like it's like I it's don't also know. how i feel about laura obviously not that. <laughs> <laughs> although i understand For people me, will have those feelings yeah. but but i love that because and even like you getting upset with him like nagging is not the way to go about it but i love that like i miss you i want to hang out with you like, I love that. I love that. Um, I want attention. From Let's him, though, in particular. <laughs> from anyone. Just no one else is in the room, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't be mad if somebody else was there. <laughs> it's not true. You want his attention. And I love that. It is, it is the closest one that's willing to stay up and <laughs> be aware of all of that. Uh, no, I, I, I love that you, Laura, always wants to, and the kids have absorbed this as, as well. Well, some of them, that 
she wants the entire clan together. If if one person is is going to the store, let's all go to the store. I like that too. But I then like the problem becomes. That. But then by the end of the week, I hear at the uh, at night, I just feel really tired and burned and. I have no I, alone time. Well, Laura, I, li- I, I don't remember the last time that I've been alone. I don't remember. No, here's the problem. <laughs> Because she wants to, you know, have time and you, you want to have a break from the kids, but you also have incredible FOMO, fear of missing out. I do. So I might I might say, okay, I'm going to let you have a break. I'm going to take the boys out. We're going to go explore and have fun. I do that too. And I want to give her I'm a like, break. Oh, and as go. we're leaving, she's so like, fun. you're going to have fun without me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it. What are you going to do? You know what my favorite thing to do with them at this age because they're three, six, and eight? I just go and I take them to hotels and we just walk around. Nice hotel. Nice, like nice, like luxury, not luxury, but like it's a nice, honestly, even though the Hampton Inn has worked sometimes, they just love like running down the hall, going through the hallway. Waking going people up. up. Go, like going <laughs> like three, up people's three o'clock. Jumping in the pool on the old man if, trying if you're, to do his If exercises. you're <laughs> sleeping at three o'clock in the afternoon at the Hampton Inn, you have a lot worse problems in life, okay, <laughs> than my kids being loud. So no, and we just go, that's a great, and it's cheap, it's free. I mean, some luxury places you might have to spend like 10 bucks for parking. But you go and you just walk around, and, and yeah, they just cool love exploring that. things. Yeah. So I, I don't. It's like going to hotels. But it, uh, oh, another hotel trick, by the way, is when you're on road trips and you need to use the bathroom. Don't stop at a gas station, okay? Stop at a hotel. Mm-hmm. The greatest place to take kids to the bathroom because the hotel bathroom on the ground floor, most people don't use it because if they stay at the hotel and they need to go to the bathroom, they go up to their room yeah. and use the bathroom. And it's so clean. it's usually and sometimes there's free coffee or free cookies. Cookies. Jeez, you could make a meal out of this. <laughs> Somebody like, <laughs> like someone left a homeless guy. They left a bag cookies. of cookies here. <laughs> So there's my other. There's my other free tip for you. Use the hotel like bathroom. Free for all Friday. You're Cameron, this is your tip. channel, so you should wrap. Yeah, up. why don't you wrap us? All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. This has been wonderful and amazing, and I love y'all. And I'm so glad that we did this. Bye. Peace out. Check out Too Far with Laura Horn, Council of Trent, Pints with Aquinas. Everybody knows Pints with Aquinas. I know. Why?